Hello YouTubers. Uh, today we're going to be changing out the starter on this 2008 BMW 535i. Okay, I just had the battery checked and they said it was good. Just needed to be charged. It was at 69%. And this is what it's doing. No sound. Now I'm going to hit the starter and see if we get any sound. Okay, I tapped on the starter a few times. Let's see what happens. See? Now I get a clicking sound. All right, let me start by disconnecting the battery. The battery's in the truck on the passenger side. And what you have to do is lift on this where the spare's at. Oh, you might not have to. Anyway, and then there's a, usually they have a, a like a bolt, a screw here or something that holds this, but this one doesn't have it, so and you just want to pick up down here. And this comes out. Here you go. And we're just gonna uh, do the uh, negative. Let's disconnect it. That's it. You know, and put this where it won't accidentally hit while I'm up working on it. If you want to take the whole battery off for some reason, you'll do the positive and then you got two 13 millimeters holding this rod and then a 10 millimeter, this bolt right here, it holds the battery down from moving around and then you get the battery out. Okay, let's go up front. Okay, we're going to start off by uh, taking this uh, air filter box off, this hose and some more stuff down there, but we'll start off by... Uh, unhooking these they just pull it straight up it's three hoses and they, they hook up to this clamp here now you just pull them up these are already kind of loose so they'll come out real quick but if not you have to use some muscle see that's all it is these rubbers are hooked up on this bracket then we're gonna loosen this uh, clamp and this clamp right here now I'm just gonna use a screwdriver I think they're six millimeters and then of course we'll take this, okay, right there. I'll just come off real quick, that's cool. Don't have to worry with that, we're done with that already. And it just hooks up to these little notches here. And of course take this uh, holes off. All you do is squeeze the sides and it pops up. <clears throat> you have to use both hands. This one's missing one side, so yours will have, oh yeah, that's another thing. Yours is going to look different because this one's missing a lot of brackets back here that you're probably going to have to remove. But if, if you can get away not removing them, good. If you have to, well, you're going to have to. But this one's missing them, so it's going to be a lot, of, a lot easier. Okay, back, back to this hose. Like I said, you're going to squeeze both sides, and it's going to open these clips. It's going to open them like that so you can unhook it. There we go. It's out. You're going to want to unsnap it from here there that hose is loose and now we're going to loosen these uh clamps and we're going to pull on this and pull it out okay i already unloosened these uh clamps i just used the regular screwdriver you see they're loose and this one down here and uh i'm gonna go ahead and take this uh two uh tube out or whatever it, it's hooked on here with the bolt but this one doesn't have it and this is just wiggle out. There we go. We gotta get this out of the way. I'm gonna make more room for me. And uh, let's see what else I need. Okay, this hose is always gonna be in your way. It's, it's annoying. Just be careful. Don't break it. Wedge it somewhere out of the way. Now we're gonna pull up on this. Let's see if I can set the tripod down here. And it may be, if this is the first time you took it off, it may be on there pretty uh, tight you gotta get on the car and be careful don't damage nothing or customer will be pissed at you and yank on this <clears throat> as hard as you can <clears throat> there we go like I said make sure you unhook these or the thing won't come out these Make sure you unhook them or it, it'll be hard to get this bad boy out. See, it'll be holding by those two hoses. And here's that annoying hose that's always going to be in your way. <laughs> All right, now let's start doing some more stuff in here. Okay. Okay, that air uh, filter box is held on. 
by these uh, little studs. You got one, two, three, and they go into this little grommets or rubber little things. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, unhook these hoses. Oh, these are the, the three lines that I see are on there with the clip and they were on, let's see, right here on these, one, two, three. Let's pop those bad boys out. Okay, now we're gonna do these hoses and you wanna turn this, let's see if I do it. You may need some pliers, so where I left my pliers. And you wanna turn these to the open position so that holes will pop out. Right there, that's the open position. Same with this one. Let me get in there. See how that turns? That's the open position. That will allow these hoses to pop out. See? There we go. And I'm gonna undo this little vacuum hose here. It's kinda getting in my way. Throw it back there. I'm even do it from down there. Okay, we might have to remove this pipe down here. I don't know, I'm gonna try to leave it, but if not, we'll, we'll have to remove it. Now we're gonna unhook this from the throttle body. This hose, just pull on this clamp up. You don't have to take it out, just like that. And then you wiggle that out. There it goes, out. Now I'm gonna start, we gotta take this cap off. It, it has four bolts, but like I said, this car is missing all kinds of stuff. It's just sitting on there, so that's another good thing for me. I don't have to mess with all kinds of stuff. Now we'll probably have to unhook these two uh, clamps, which is, I think they're the uh, O2 sensor uh, connections. Just press on this tab, and out it comes. This one's missing the tab, so you should just pop out. Get these out of the way. Let's get this line out of the way. All you do is press on this, and it pops out. Let's see what else we need out of the way. Because we're gonna start taking the intake manifold. We need to unhook this one, and we're gonna have to take a pick, lift this tab up, and then pull this guy out. And. Uh, Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's take this clip off. And like I said, just take a pick and lift up, up on here. Be careful, because it is plastic and it will break. That's the thing about the BMW. Be careful when you're taking these clips off. This It's got a lot of plastic and it will break. Got that unhooked. Just like right here. See, like this one's missing that one ear. I don't know why BMW did that. I mean, used a lot of cheap plastic on here. Okay, now this hose that I unplugged from here that I told you I was going to throw in the back. I'll go ahead and hook it back up, and I think I'll do it from here. There, I unplugged that. And now here, this line's connected to the throttle body. Again, just pinch it, and it should come off. I'm in an awkward position here. Let me see if I can get it. Let me use both hands real quick. Okay, I got this line, Lucy. All it is is like this one up here. You squeeze it and it opens these two side clips and it comes out, out of that uh, connection right there. So it goes through the throttle body. Let's see if I can get a view of it. I had a hard time, so what I did is I used two picks. I opened one side, and oh, that's hard to see. I'll just show you when I take it off. I just actually put a pick on each side of, of this right here and opened the ears and then it popped out, but you might not have the trouble I had. Now we're ready to take off the intake, and it's an 11 millimeter, and the first one's a bolt. It's right up here, and it's a bolt long little bolt then the rest are just nuts it uh, always you know helps if you have a magnet some of these are hitting in there I don't know if you can see it hiding in there from us and I use a magnet to get them out that way you won't drop them if you drop them don't worry about it I think when you get to uh, taking the intake off you'll be able to find everything down there that's where all the good stuff's at. Oops. 
Let me set this down. Okay, you've got seven of these. One's a bolt and the other ones are little nuts. You know, they're 11 millimeters. Okay. Now you also might have, I just seen it here a little while ago. It's a wire that's just hooked up to uh, the th uh, intake manifold. It's just a clip that you know you can undo. I'll try to show it to you when I turn this upside down. Okay, I think we got everything. Just make sure everything is clear. Put these hoses up, out of the way, up and out of the way. Okay. All right, let me set the camera down and see if we can get that intake out now. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out all the way, but this is probably as far as you, you, you can go. Right there, you've got all the good stuff. Look, you've got the high pressure fuel pump, you got the starter, you've got the low pressure sensor. Uh, I don't know if that's the ground or a knock sensor. Here's another one. So all the good stuff is down here, man. <laughs> and if you're gonna take this off, here's the clip. It's hooked up to the throttle body. You should just be able to hit that I'll use both hands uh, there's a little clip there push it and it should pop out okay I got it loose it's got a clip right here Where we at? up here press on that pull it out and there's the uh, holes to the throttle body that I told you earlier you just squeeze that and it comes out and it hooks up right here Okay, I think we can get it out of the way. Like I said, you don't need to take it off, but I went ahead and did it. So, uh, yeah, I can see exactly what's down here. And like I said, all the goodies are here. This will be hooked up to that uh, intake. All you got to do is push it down when it's hooked up. See if I can show you where it's going to be hooked up. Right here. It's going to be like this. And it's going to hook up. With these two rails right here down here and all you gotta do is pull it out I, I really don't know how it came out i was having hell so i just i mean gave it all i had wham and it came off that way you can move it around and this intake will come out and if not you're gonna have hell uh, you won't be able to get this out or move it too far okay let's get this out of the way here put it somewhere safe where i won't step on it okay all right, YouTubers, uh, you don't have to take off the intake all the way out like I did, but I did it so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. You can just lean it over to a side like that and you can get to it. It's over here. In case you're wondering what happened to it, cover it. And uh, I like to cover these ports to the engine. You know, I'm afraid I'm gonna drop something. So put a rag on there and I know you're saying, oh, well, I'm working way down here. Yeah, but you know how sometimes you drop a bolt, you try to grab it like that and you may bounce it, boom, right in there. Luck has it, you know. Anyway, once you get to this, this is a 13 millimeter. Take that off. And uh, it'll have this connection here. If you can't get to that bolt, squeeze this in and out it comes out. Push it in and press that. That's on the way right now. And then just slide it out. And this is the new starter. I'm just doing this so you can see what I'm doing. Now that sucker's tricky. You don't have room. You can try a quarter inch ratchet and let me show you. You just don't have the room. It hits up here. That plastic bar one and you just don't have the room. Uh, some say you can use a ratchet wrench, but it has to be a six point instead of a 12 point. I'm gonna show you here. I've got a 12 point. Let's see if the camera won't fall here. You can see it's not a. Well, I gotta put it on top here. I'm trying to look through the camera. So I wouldn't trust it. I'm afraid I. I'll strip it. So I'm going with the E12 inverted uh, Torx E12. You can see that, that fits perfect. What I did, 
uh, I used one of these uh, quarter inch because you can't get a three eighths in there. I used this uh, quarter inch uh, ratchet. Uh, I didn't have it. I went and borrowed it from my brother. You can get them at Harbor Freight for you get three of them. I don't know how much, but you get three in a pack, uh, half inch, three eighths, and then the quarter inch. So I borrowed this from my brother, and this was I was able to get in there with this, but I didn't have enough leverage, so <laughs> I rigged it up. My brother said I could have it, but see, I welded this handle or this old uh, extension to it, and I put my uh, E12 on it with the adapter. Sorry, guys, I have to use an adapter going from a quarter inch to a three eighths because that's all I had on the E12 at three eighths. And then you're going to turn right, and that worked perfect. But of course, that bolt's going to be flushed down here it's not gonna be way out there and see it worked perfect there it is see it worked perfect so you might have to rig something up like that unless you have those flex head wrenches and you have a six point i was afraid to use the uh, 10 millimeter which i did use it's right here i taped it because I wanted it to stay bent like that. But once it's loose, all you gotta do is break it. Once you break it, you can turn it a few times and then it'll come out by hand. But while it was still tight, this is what I used. Ratchet it away and uh, put this up. Then it'll turn by hand real easy. Now, just turns by hand. And this is a long bolt. Let me get it out real quick, guys. Okay, we're back on. Didn't want you to sit there for 20 minutes while I fight this bolt. See how long it is? So just be careful. Guide it out. And then grab it. And now it comes. See? And now we've got this one we're gonna take out too. And that's uh E12. Okay, and uh Invest in a magnet, you know, if it ever happens to fall or you can't get it. Get your old trusty magnet. Boom. Well, this is probably aluminum, but it'll help you get it out. See? You can reach in there. This magnet's helping so much. Now we need to get that other one. So we're going to switch that E12. To my uh, quarter inch. Or a 3 8 wobble, I like these wobbles. You can just go in from here. Where is it at? Okay, there we go. And turn it. Of course, it's loose, that's why it's coming out so easy. And there it is. And there's a bracket here, so don't forget to put it back on there. See that bracket? And there we go, both bolts. Just remember the back one, the long one goes on here where it's facing this way. And the short one goes on the bottom. That way you won't forget. And ow, I have to wiggle a little bit where they get stuck on there. And out comes your starter. See all that work I did, guys, just to show you. Now I gotta put this thing back in there. Just kidding, I don't mind it. Okay, before I put this back in, I'll show you some stuff that's here. That's your uh, crankshaft uh, sensor. I've changed it before. I can't remember if it was this one or the uh, 2011. And it is a kind of a pain in the butt to get to when the starter's on there, but you can get to it. And uh, here's your uh, low pressure fuel sensor, which I'm gonna be changing. And then here's your uh, high pressure uh, fuel pump. It's, it has this line up here, and it has one down here. Runs to the sensor. Okay, and uh, well, that's all for now. Let's uh, reinstall this bad boy. Okay, let me get it all together. And see how easy that was to turn? I just turned it by hand and look, it went all the way through. You can see over here. Right there, you can see where it's already showing the head or the 
end of the bolt and it was all done by hand till I got to there. So leave it, don't put this other bolt. I, I recommend you do that one. That way you can wiggle this starter up and down while you're doing that. And it helps you, it helps you. If the bolt gets tight, wiggle it and turn it more. Okay, let me show you how my little contraption's working. Now I'm tightening it up, see? See, that worked real good for me. I mean, this little ratchet, my brother gave it to me, like I said, he didn't mind. He goes, go ahead and keep it. And the reason he gave it to me was too, cause uh, he said it's not working good. He goes, that ratchet motion gets stuck in one direction only. So that's why I went ahead and destroyed it. <laughs> okay, now I gotta use both hands to give it a good little tightening. <laughs> okay, so I try to see how that worked real good for me. Okay, now you want to put your uh, positive wire on there, and it comes with a new lock washer and a bolt, so I'll go ahead and use the new one. Don't drop it. Then it takes a 13 millimeter. snug don't go crazy on it that feels good right there and then put your plug in that's it just snaps in there push that and it's locked in there take it out push that clip and out it comes there we go I guess it can just go in like that too without pushing that yeah it'll just slide back in but take it out you need to push that clip now that's ready and going the reverse, putting everything back together. Now I gotta mess with other stuff here, but let me see. But that, it's done. The starter's on there. All right, YouTubers, and that's the way you put on a starter. And uh, if it's your first time doing it, hey, just take your time, you know. Don't, don't get frustrated, don't, don't get impatient. You know, if you find yourself getting frustrated, impatient, just cover everything up, go inside, take a quick break, eat something. And then come back out uh, but anyway that's the way you do it uh, like always thanks for watching I really appreciate you thanks bye bye